Hey everybody, Crystal Beaudry here with Crystal's Clean Kitchen, where we help make clean eating a lifestyle. So we're doing a series right now all about Easter. And so if you haven't checked out some of my other videos, make sure to go do that because we made a lot of candy bar type videos. We made gummies, we made chocolates, we made M&Ms, and they all turned out so amazing. Well, in today's episode, we're going to be making some magic cookie bars which I know that sounds interesting, but they are so delicious. You guys are going to love it. It's the perfect snack idea. All right, so we're gonna start with the crust first. So we're going to do two cups of almond flour. Now, if you wanna half this recipe, you certainly can, but they're so good that you're going to want a lot of them. Okay, and then we're gonna do two tablespoons of some coconut flour, and then one teaspoon of baking powder, half a teaspoon of some salt. Okay, so that's all the dry ingredients. We're gonna mix that together. Now we're gonna add some eggs. Now you wanna kind of whisk your eggs together a little bit before you add them. All right. And then we're going to add some butter. You want four tablespoons of melted butter. And then what we're going to do is we are going to put these in some molds and then put them in the oven. All right, so here's the, what the batter looks like up close. Now you're gonna want to mix it together. I would, I'm gonna use my hands. I always like to squeeze batter for some reason. Okay, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take it a little circle at a time and put them into our molds. Okay, so I'm taking the little balls of dough and I'm pushing it into the bottom of this mold. Now I got this mold from Amazon. I'll make sure to link it down below. And because I'm making this bars, this is going to work perfectly. But if you don't wanna get the mold, that's totally fine. You could also use an eight by eight baking dish. Just remember to put some parchment paper on the bottom because these will pop out really easily from the mold, but with, a, with the eight by eight pan, you, you'll need some parchment paper. And then you wanna get it as thin as, pos as thin as you possibly can get it on the bottom here because it's gonna puff up when we bake it. And then we're gonna bake it for about 20 minutes at 300 degrees. Okay, so first we're gonna start with some butter being melted. I melted 10 tablespoons of butter. And now I'm going to add a third of a cup of some monk fruit. And I'm going to let this cook for a couple of minutes, probably about five minutes. And I'm, you're gonna see it start to turn more of a brown color. And then we'll add some more ingredients to it. So you can see how this has kind of changed colors a little bit. Now we're gonna add half a cup of some heavy whipping cream. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, now a teaspoon of some vanilla. We're gonna add a little salt, maybe an eighth of a teaspoon. And then we're gonna add four drops of liquid stevia. We are going to mix one and a half cups of Lily's chocolate chips or just a sugar-free chocolate chip. And then we're going to mix one cup of some unsweetened shredded coconut. And then we're gonna do one cup of nuts. Now I'm doing some walnuts and some pecans. And I've just kind of chopped that up. We're gonna just mix this together. So these just came out of the oven. They're looking really beautiful. Now we're gonna take our sauce that we made and we're just going to put about a spoonful in each one. Now, as you can see, this recipe made 16 bars. So if you are not wanting that many, you could always half the recipe and make less. After we're done scooping all of the sauce in here, then we're going to cover it with our nut, coconut, and chocolate chip mixture. And then 
we're going to put more sauce on the top and put it back in the oven at 350 degrees this time for five minutes. Now the reason why we did the crust so thin was we wanted some space left for this mixture. So we're going to scoop in our mixture here. Now, if you don't like something in this mixture, like I was talking to a friend of mine and she was like, oh, I don't really like coconut. Hey, that's totally fine. All you have to do is add some more nuts in it then. Okay, then you just wanna push it down a little bit so that it's even, so it looks really nice like a bar. Okay, then what we're gonna do is we are going to cover it with some more sauce. So after these came out of the oven, I put them in the fridge for about a half hour and they popped out of the molds, really simple. You guys, you gotta try this recipe. I know you're going to love it. Well, let's give it a taste test. Mm. The caramel sauce on here just really ties this all together. You guys are going to love it. Let me know once you try it and don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Bye.